Hey everybody, I want to give y'all a little update. Um, look what I got from China. Um, not General Chow's cat. <laughs> but another box with a turbine. So now we're going to get dicey out of here and we're going to show you the Chinese wonder. That's coming up. Let's take a look. All right, guys. Now I've got my two helpers and we're going to open up the turbine. It's an S model. You'll see that. Now that is one of the models. The model is called as an S model. And we'll go ahead and get this thing open right quick. And we're going to lay it out for you. All right, guys. As you can see, it comes with the user's manual. And it's the Model S. It's pretty good. It's got, a, it's got all the information in it, as you can see. And then it comes with the installation guide. And if you don't understand English, you can always in, you can always read it in Spanish. Well, there you go, guys. My daughter kind of figured the world out already, hasn't she? So, um, what it comes with in here, and he's going to pull all these parts out, and she's going to lay them out for us. It comes with the basic controller, I believe. That looks like the basic controller in here. So we want to get that one opened up. Yeah, so it's the standard O3 style controller. So generally three phase, 12 volt controller. It's a 300 watt. It has a braking voltage of 15 volts and a uh, recover voltage of 13.5. So it'll break down until it hits 13.5. Let me get over there so you can see that better. And it has a very low milliamp consumption ratio and this is weatherproof so you can put this outside i would don't put it directly in the weather all right now we have the wind turbine body and pma in here we'll go ahead and get it we have let's get the there's a hub hub cover nose cone we have the flange. Now this is the S model flange. They have an S, they have an M, and then they have one that's for the thousand watt. And you have the hub. All right, so we've got the standard three blade hub. And you'll notice that the hub has got the dimple design or the special teardrop design so that it locks into the blades, centers it very well very easy flange to work with and the wires although this is uh, this is 14 gauge so um, when you're talking 300 watts you're not talking about a lot and the PMA in these things is about that big so it's not as honking big as the one that's in the ones on the roof of my shop you can go back and look at the video there and see you know my previous videos about that turbine you will notice that you have free play in this shaft and the reason that you have free play, you could actually push on it and it'll flex a little bit is because you have suspension, magnetic suspension in the center with your core that the magnets are on. You have suspension, so you might have a little float in this. When you put your hub on, it's gonna seat. You see that part right there? It's gonna seat right up against that part of your bearing. Now, we prefer these. These come from Green Energy over in China and we prefer buying them from AliExpress because the one thing that you're guaranteed is that if you get a bad eBay or Amazon seller uh, they're just gonna change their freaking name and disappear now one of the problems that a lot of people have ran across is you see this poly seal that's inside this nut right here that poly seal I'll show you here what we do to solve that little problem it makes driving this on a miserable feat and you feel like you've never got it far enough on there. So if you'll look in here, we're going to take a regular blade and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to take and kind of take out some of that plastic, you see? Because it seems like the plastic is just a little too much. And trust me, you ain't got to worry. This will always remain tight because it's, it is spinning in clockwise, the tightening, it's not going to come loose. You could basically just put a regular nut on here and it's not going to come loose. So this has been a problem with a lot of turbines. So you just want to get the tip of your razor down in there. Watch the fingers don't cut yourself. And you're going to kind of 
chew some of that away a little bit. Now, the next step is you're gonna put a little drop of oil on this and then you'll shoot it on. You will put it on and when you get your hub on there and you're gonna put the drill in reverse and it's gonna put it on there. So put your drill or impact, I, I, I use an impact, but right now I'm just showing you with a drill. You're gonna put that in reverse while you have your hub and your blades on here. And you'll see that it starts to go on and it'll continue to spin until it pulls itself on. So once you've done that, you're good to go. Put it in forward and you can, because what you're doing is you're just spinning the shaft with the Allen wrench here. All right, now we have the small S model, 300 watt turbine hooked up. And for you guys who uh, don't understand how this works, this thing can turn back and forth. It has internal a slip ring. Look up here at the top of the video, right there. There'll be a link to where you can go and learn about slip rings. That'll also help you figure these out so you won't have to worry. Uh, and these slip rings um, that, that the manufacturer puts in these will easily handle 100 amps. They're not cheap, they're good quality. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one here and run it up. So you'll see where our current status is. We're at 12.68 volts, that's the battery. And I'm gonna hold on to this thing and you'll get to watch the voltage jump up on it. And yes, we're gonna show the amps, but you'll it'll pull itself down as soon as that kicks on because it's extra load more than the battery. There, it got real hard to turn there. So at that point there, that kicked on. That's the battery being full, and it put a load against the turbine, slowing it down. So the turbine lost some of its speed, and that way, in a bad windstorm, this controller prevents overcharging your batteries. Now, we're going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to give you an amp reading. So you'll see we're back down to 12.6. That's one tenth off what this is, very common. You can adjust these to get them a little higher, but as long as that fan's running, it's pulling this down a little bit because it's wired in the same circuit. But watch for this amperage right here. And we're gonna go ahead and take this thing and take this, take the drill and we're going to spin up this little turbine again to get you that report there. So, the drill, luckily, because it has a lithium battery on it, wants to kick out once it gets too much of a load on it. So, so there you go, guys. Schedule 40 pipe only. If you weld galvanize, please, please use a fan, keep the air moving. Don't weld it and be dangerous. There it is, guys. This is a awesome little turbine. There's a lot of them that, that look like this turbine. If they don't have that shape in this, and they don't have that same big girth of a PMA, don't buy them. Link to this one will be below the video. Hey guys, back out here again, and we're working with a little bitty turbine, 300 water, and we got Dicey out here guarding the air tool, and we're gonna have, we have a 15 mile an hour wind, I've been waiting for it to get over 14. It's like it stayed there all day. And finally it got up to 15. So it's kind of like a decent wind speed. Um, we're going to be reviewing or showing you this little turbine and how I mounted it. Now this one was down in Baker, Nevada. So it's got about three months of use on it. And here's how I mounted it. I'm going to get in here to the top here. You see that up on the roof? And going into the purlings. And well tarred in and then and then right over here braced off and originally this pipe was for a flag but we decided hey it's strong enough for a turbine so here's one of the important lessons I want to tell you guys about the design or style um, of a turbine now over here you'll notice its tail it turns up I'm gonna give you all a forewarning right now do not buy those turbines that have the tail that turned down. They claim 800 watts, 1,000 watts, 10,000 watts. It's like that guy in the Midwest, just lying their ass off. This turbine is really a 300 watt turbine, but I have seen 430 out of it, no problems. Here is the deal. That tail that drops down like that, you'll see it looks like that on the back of the turbine, downward. 
by the time that the wind goes through the blades around that pole and to that tail, that sucker is doing that crap all day long. You can never build up enough speed. And they designed that on purpose so that you never can reach the max abilities of the turbine and burn its ass out. That's why they do it. This one here has got a different product in it. This is made by Green Energy. This one here kicks ass. Look below the video. I'll put a link to it. This one kicks ass. It has survived mountain pass winds in Baker, Nevada. Look that up. That, sorry about that, that is proof positive. Now, over here, it's been running since this morning. Look at, look at my contraption, all right? If that ain't freaking hillbilly. Now, here's the uh, readings on it. Let me see what we got here. So it's had a 130-watt uh, peak, and it has had, that's, that's got to be pretty recent because the wind just now finally got to 15 and it's in some severely dirty wind. So I'm gonna give you all those readings. Y'all gonna see what that peaks are at. I don't know what 11.9 VN means, whatever the hell that is. I, I've looked it up, I don't see them. Maybe you can tell me. I've had these meters for years, never figured this one out. I think that's where it drops off at. That's the lowest point the battery had been at. And it's probably reasonable. In fact, yeah, that's what it is. Lowest point because I'm running this thing to power that big 300 and something watt, 375 watt CFL, uh, which pulls about 70 real watts. So there you go. Now, uh, that would be, that's the voltage, the low voltage that it has been at. And I think it records that and then it changes every so many minutes to the, the more recent one. But here it is, 10.43 amp peak, 130 watt peak, and it's currently producing pretty decent. So we had those batteries, we only had eight of the Centennial batteries out there and it, it kept them well charged, but we figured for this winter time, because the winds are consistent, we're going to change it out to the Billy Badass Turbine. That one, that 500 water, look below the video, I'll put both, I'll put all their links. So you're gonna see this as it is, you're gonna see this little baby right here. And I'm gonna call that baby bear. And actually, believe it or not, my friend Tim, his son became wheelchair bound paraplegic. And I built this called, and I called it Desert Storm for my buddy Tim and his boy is down there in Texas right now. Uh, and he's in a wheelchair building business, but for disabled vets. And I did this one for him. He's a hell of a guy. So it has Desert Storm colors. That's kind of cool, right? Right guys? Y'all thumbs that damn thing up. Y'all be, y'all be proud of our people. So that one there would be the baby bear. Let's put it in a category. <laughs> that one up there, the 500 water would be the mama bear. And that purple is the purple rain. That is the papa bear if you ever saw one. That thing is rocking. So you want to see what it does. Look up here in the corner there. I'll put a link to that video. That one is putting out 250 to 300 watts in 12 to 15 mile an hour wind. Badass. All right, guys, look at the mess. So it's like be a general contractor. You got wired ladders everywhere. All right, y'all be good, man.